What is up guys, we are here in Warframe and I'm gonna do a new little series called From A to Z. Now, what that will mean is I'll go over all the frames because I've got all of them max ranked. Uh, all of them are supercharged as well, so they all got 60 points. Uh, except for Excalibur Prime, I don't have that one. Um, I will just go over them in alphabetical order, as you can see here, and I will just go, you know, like the way they are set up. Uh, I will talk about how I mod up mine, uh, mod up my frames, um, I will talk about the abilities, and then I will show a little bit of gameplay on the first mission of Mercury, the Exterminate. Uh, I'll do that for every frame, so you guys can have a little concept to see. You know, okay, that frame might be fun for me, or that frame might be totally useless. And at the end of it, I'll give my honest opinion about if it's worth getting or not. So first off, we got Ash. Ash is like uh, the ninja in Warframe. He's got smoke coming out of him, uh, which is pretty cool. And you can actually make him look like the stalker if you get the um, Locust Ash helmet. As you can see, that looks pretty much like the Stalker. Now, Ash has four abilities, of course, like any other frame. First ability is just a damage ability, which is Shuriken. Uh, you deal two Shurikens, so they split apart to two targets, and they deal a pretty nice amount of damage. I mean, I can one shot level 20 to 25 mobs with it, but if it gets any higher, you know, it's kind of useless. But it's it's a good ability to spam and level up the frame. Second ability, and it is the bread and butter of the frame, is Smoke Screen. Smoke Screen uh, drops a smoke bomb that will stun enemies near you, and it will give you invisibility. Now, Invisibility has a unique mechanic where it will uh, increase your melee damage by quite a lot. And every melee hit will actually act as a crit, even though it's not really a crit. Uh, real crits will be bright red instead of the normal yellow damage numbers. Uh, but you can actually equip... Um, let me find it here. You can equip Berserker, which gives you a tech speed bonus on critical hits. And every normal hit in Invisibility will actually proc Berserker. So that is a really, really cool thing. Uh, because you get yellow numbers, but it's not really crit, but the game thinks it's a crit. So uh, Invisibility, if you want to level up melee frames, you take Azure Loki. Uh, end of story. <laughs> Then you get Teleport as the third ability, which kind of acts like Switch Teleport uh, on Loki, except it doesn't switch you with the other target, you just teleport to the other target. So it can't be used for trolling, I'm sorry, all the trolls out there. But it's a pretty amazing ability, uh, you know, as movement. I believe you can even teleport to traps and shit, like arc traps and stuff like that. Then the last is an AoE uh, damage ability called Bladestorm. Um, I'm not really in love with this because it takes uh, a long time, it's a long animation. But you basically use it on an enemy near you and then you will teleport to all the other enemies near you. And you will basically stab them and deal, uh, I'd say, a good amount of damage. It's not amazing, it's not bad either. Now for stats, uh, Ash has pretty decent health, uh, pretty low shields, but uh, as being an invisible class, he actually has pretty high armor. He's got 65 armor, which is pretty high, uh, at least for the role that he's playing. I mean, I should have went with like 15 or something, um, but 65 armor is pretty amazing for 
a frame that can go invisible the whole time. So if you go, if you spend visibility, uh, if you spend smoke screen, you shouldn't die ever. Now the power pool, pretty high as well. 150 power without any power mods. It's like 300 with it, I believe. Uh, <laughs> stamina. Uh, don't really have to look at that, and Conclave, you don't really have to look at that either, so. How did I unlock mine? Well, I went with, well, all the abilities. Just for this video, normally I take out Blaze Storm, uh, I take out Shuriken and Teleport, I only use Smokescreen, because it's not only used as a defensive, but also as an offensive ability, because like I said, you gain uh, an increase in damage, so... I like to use it with really high damage weapons, like the Orthus Prime, for example, or the Galatine. If you use it with the Galatine, it's pretty much one shot everything. Like, everything in a fucking game. Even bosses you can one shot uh, if you mod your Galatine right. Now, for my RS slot, I got Steel Charge, of course, increases melee damage, and it gives the most mob points. If you go with Rifle Amp, you only get 40 more points, so you get 4 more points with Steel Charge. Uh, continuity and Constitution, both for the power duration and narrow-minded for even more power duration. Why? Because invisibility uh, benefits from it and you'll be able to stay invisible for a very fucking long time. I mean you'll hardly have to, you know, recast it. Then I get redirection for those moments that I'm out of invisibility and out of energy. Um, I mean, you could replace it with another... Um, let me quickly see. You could replace it with overextend it or stretch. Stretch is even better because you don't lose strength. So your play storm will reach out further. Um, your teleport will be able to reach out further. Shuriken will go further. Um, but I like the defense from the direction. And of course we got streamline just for the little bit of power efficiency. Uh, and we got intensify because it had a V uh, polarity. So, it gives us more strength, more damage on the blaze storm, more damage on the shuriken. Now, I'll go into Mercury Terminus. Uh, I'll go in by myself, and I'll actually disable my Sentinel so you guys can perfectly see uh, how this frame works. So, I'll start the recording here and I'll record back in the game and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys then.
So guys, I'm back. Um, I'm sorry there was no audio or no music in the gameplay part, but I can't put music on or it will get copyrighted. Uh, so you have to put music on of your cell phone or you just listen to the game sounds. I mean, can we? Oh, okay, I guess. So as you saw, uh, I used all my abilities. I used Shuriken at the start, smoke screen, and as you can see, I pretty well, pretty much one shot while in invisibility, and when I was out of invisibility, um, invisibility, holy shit, that's a hard word to say, uh, I didn't really one shot with my Lacta. Um, also, only one mod on it, and it's pretty shitty, so, uh, if you're trying to level up melee weapons, definitely get Ash uh, or Loki, they're both pretty good. Because you can pretty much one shot uh, with even the shittiest weapons. Then I use teleport to the one guy. Uh, at the end, I actually tried to teleport to like a barrel or a terminal. I know you used to be able to do that, but I guess they patched it. I don't know. Then right at the end, the last enemy, I used Blade Storm uh, because I didn't have enough energy to use it before that. So at least I got to use it. At least I got to show you guys how it looks like. You just teleport, you step, and you teleport back to where you started. So, uh, my honest opinion about Ash, I would definitely get Ash. Um, he looks way better than Loki, in my opinion. Loki looks like a hammerhead shark that shouldn't be in the game. Uh, <laughs> I mean, a shark that, you know, magically floated up into space and then became a ninja or something like that. I really don't know. Um, but Ash, he looks like a true ninja, he's got smoke, he's got badass fucking colors. Uh, well, I, I made him like that, but I mean, <laughs> badass uh, visuals, you know, the smoke and shit. Um, and of course, he's very durable. He's very durable for uh, a frame like this, I mean... You'd expect an invisibility frame to be a bit less durable, but he's pretty up there, I mean... Uh, I would definitely get Ash, uh, you'll have a lot of fun with it, you'll have a lot of fun spamming smoke screen, I'm not dying ever, uh, the only time you'll die is, you know, if you run out of life support or, uh, if invisibility wears off and you don't have any energy, so, one thing I will recommend you guys do, however, is, if you don't, uh, don't have any friends with energy siphon that you don't play with, I would pick, uh, I would form my disc to a dash and I would put energy siphon on so you can spam uh, smoke screen even more. Anyways, that's been it for this A to Z uh, Ash. Hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Zero, and next time we'll go over Petchy.